Greetings and welcome to Theology Geek Fitness. I'm Jonathan Pritchett and in today's video I'm going to give a review of the Quest Peanut Butter Cups. It's been a while since I've done a review of these because I've decided to just, you know, not really buy them regularly anymore and just eat chicken or turkey or something, uh, some sort of whole food instead of getting my afternoon uh, protein from either protein powder or a protein bar. And it's worked out rather well, but like I said in the previous video, I do want to do this every now and then for a treat and for those of you who like this kind of stuff and buy overpriced things like this. This has uh, two peanut butter cups in it, 11 grams of protein, so that's not very much, one uh, gram of net carb per serving, one gram of sugar per serving, and 190 calories, 15 grams of total fat. So... You know, this is more of a dessert than a uh, adequate, like, protein bar thing. But, you know, every now and then it's important to treat yourself. So let's see if this is any good, if it is a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup killer. It's packaged just like Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are. Tastes like it doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. It's not bad, but it's not great. The peanut butter is good, but mm, the chocolate is just kind of, it, it has like an empty taste to it. It's hard to explain. It just doesn't taste, it tastes like chocolate, but almost. <laughs> and I mean, I'm sure it's chocolate, but it's just it's like almost good milk chocolate, but not quite good milk chocolate. Peanut butter is nice and creamy in the inside, though. It's not like gritty like some of these peanut butter protein things are. Mm. I love Reese's peanut butter cups, and these definitely do not substitute. And, you know, at 190 calories... Um, you know, if, if calories is the thing, you're getting like about 30 calories or some odd less than just eating regular, uh, Reese's peanut butter cups. Of course, this doesn't have all the sugar that that would. So, I mean, for macros, I'm sure this is a little bit better, but a lot of fat. Anyway. Mmm. I mean, it's still a treat. It's a good, good effort, but not. Mm. It's all right. It's not great. It's not like their chocolate chip cookie dough protein bar that's. You know, I think it's is probably the best protein bar on the market. I gave it rave reviews. You can see that uh, review in a previous video. But that is, it's almost like if you want a dessert, you, you may as well just skip that and get the real thing. Quest does a good job normally, but um, that's adequate. It's just not great. The chocolate is just kind of, mm, I mean, it, if you're going to eat chocolate anyway, it may it, you may as well just spoil yourself, have a cheat, and, and go for it. Because that is not a great substitute for like a good old-fashioned Reese's peanut butter cups. That you should treat yourself with every now and then. It doesn't always have to be. Oh, this is put out by a company that makes protein bars, so this is this is the option for me because I'm in the fitness and health and blah blah. No, just eat a Reese's. Th th skip that. Uh, it's uh, certainly more expensive than a Reese's peanut butter cup. That. Uh, that's for sure. But overall, not bad. But why waste money on not bad, right? So I give it a 5 out of 10. It's just kind of there. I mean, if, if you have, uh, let me, I'll say it like this. If you have a sweet tooth, this will feel like you're getting like 
60% of that satisfied. If you just need to have some sort of correspondence to, I got to have candy. I got to have chocolate. Got to have chocolate peanut butter stuff. Um, I love Reese's. I love Butterfingers, all that kind of stuff. So I'm making better decisions. So this will save you 30 calories and give you more protein than Reese's peanut butter cup will. But at the same time, it's just not, it's just not fair. So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, probably not. But if you did, go ahead and click the like button. If you didn't like the video, click the dislike button, whatever. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Become a subscriber and consider becoming a patron of the channel. All the money from Patreon gets reinvested into the channel. So you can go to patreon.com slash theologygeekfitness if you want to help us out and see more content like this and uh, the rest of the content you'll find on this channel. I appreciate you watching. Until the next video, take care and God bless.